Have you ever wondered if when you retire, are you really gonna get all of your sick leave towards retirement or in a lump sum check? Well, if you ever had questions about sick leave and retirement, then this is the video for you. Hi, I'm Mike Shalansky with the FERS Federal Fact Check. Today we have a question from Ernest about using his sick leave in retirement. And Ernest's question is, what happens to my sick leave if you're 63 years old and have 28 years of federal service and retire? Thanks for taking the question. Ernest, thanks for writing it. You know, that's a great question and often that comes up, what happens with your annual leave, your sick leave, your military time, and how do these things count towards retirement? So let's look at a couple of different things, right? Number one, he talked about having years of service. He had 28 years years of federal service, which is great. We're just gonna assume that was normal federal service years. He's actually worked civilian for 28 years and paid into the retirement system. But then he has sick leave. You know what, with 28 years, he could have a lot of sick leave. He could potentially have over a year of sick leave saved. So what if he had one year of sick leave that was saved up? What happens to that time at retirement? Well, the really neat part now about the FERS retirement, so this was back in 2009, I believe, 2010, the Non-Foreign Area Equity Retirement Assurance Act passed, and what happened is that was legislation that actually cured the FERS flu. Now, if you're not familiar with the FERS flu, right, talk to some of your coworkers, and this, this was a deadly disease that was going through the FERS community right before retirement, right? As soon as someone would get, get close to retirement, they'd have like a year, six months of sick leave, they would be deadly sick, right? They couldn't come to work, they'd burn all their sick leave, then luckily they'd retire, and as soon as they retired, they were cured, right? They were fine. So what am I referring to with that little bit of a joke? Before that Non-Foreign Area Equity Retirement Assurance Act, that 2010 time period, you were not allowed to use sick leave for your retirement. So it was getting burned up before people would use it, right? Before they would retire. But now your sick leave counts towards your retirement, which is really great. That means in this case, Ernest, for you, in this example, you would have 29 years of service for accounting for what your pension is at retirement. Being 60 years young, you're gonna times that by 1%. You're now gonna get 29% of your high three, your highest 36 consecutive months of pay, which is great. But let's talk a little bit about your calculation that we're gonna to use to calculate what your pension is and eligibility to retire. While sick leave adds to your credibility in order to increase your pension, it does not add to eligibility of your pension. What does that mean? Let's change the scenario up just a little bit. Let's say instead he had 19 years of service. He was aged uh, 60 years young, he had 19 years of service, one year of sick leave, how much time does he have? He would have 20 years of federal service, right? You look at that and say, great, Micah, you gotta be 60 years young with 20 years of federal service. Hey, he's 60, 20 years young, he can retire, but not yet. This is the catch. When we look at eligibility, sick leave doesn't count. He would only be 60 with 19 years of federal service. He's not eligible for an unreduced immediate pension. So sick leave is gonna add again to that credibility for retirement, not eligibility for retirement. So make sure you understand those rules. A lot of people also, like to get into the details with sick leave and make sure that with their sick leave, years, months, and days of civilian service, then years, months, and days of sick leave, that they get the full credit for it and they don't lose anything. Be very careful. Keep in mind, the government only deals with years and months when it calculates your retirement. They assume all months have 30 days, so any days that you have get added up. Anything more than 30 counts to a month, anything less than 30 gets cut off. Some people wanna retire when that day amount is this perfect zero amount. That can be really tricky you miscalculate it, you could lose a whole month of your retirement pension pension or eligibility. So make sure you know what these rules are. Make sure you know how it applies to your situation. If you are curious on how to get more information on your benefits and apply sick leave to your personal situation, then scroll down below, hit that contact us button. We do need to sit down with an initial consultation. We can go over your benefits just for you and see how this information applies to your personal situation. Until next time, happy planning.